Hey guys, so today I want to talk about how to reduce bloating. Bloating can be so annoying, especially when you look like you're three months pregnant. I've experienced bloating a lot in my life, especially a couple years ago. I feel like I had so much bloating. I always had stomach issues, stomach pain, and it got a lot better. So before we go into any of the how to reduce bloating tips is if you are a woman to acknowledge and accept that when you get your period, you might be more bloated than usual which is totally normal for a lot of women I also feel like when I'm on my period I feel more bloated I feel like I gained weight and it's really not cute so what I like to do is I just try to accept it as much as I can and maybe not wear something that's super tight or makes me feel uncomfortable because I'm bloated maybe wear something that hides your stomach a little bit you know when you go to the gym for example you can wear an oversized t-shirt because if you can accept that you get bloated around this time of the month you don't beat yourself up over it every time i mean you still kind of do because it's like every month it's like you don't believe that the things are because you're on your period right no i'm not irritated because i'm on my period every month i'm like why am i so emotional it never makes the click for me that it's because of, never never makes the click that's because of my period so yeah whatever how can you reduce bloating a very very important factor is of course food what you eat is gonna determine how much bloated you are i'm gonna use my phone because i wrote foods down that cause bloating and foods that help bloating foods that cause bloating are beans lentils carbonated drinks broccoli or other veggies like cauliflower cabbage brussels sprouts onions garlic apples alcohol and obviously if you're intolerant to dairy or gluten pay attention to food that doesn't make you feel good either you go to a doctor and test it out or you just pay attention after eating what makes you feel bloated i noticed that when i eat raw onions i love the taste of raw onions but i don't feel good after eating raw onions i don't cut out all of these foods obviously i don't want to restrict my diet in any way for me personally the biggest change was to switch to a healthier diet because back in the day i would eat what Whatever I wanted and whatever I was feeling like. I mean, I do this now, but now I do it in a healthy way because back in the day I was eating, you know, processed food. I was eating all of the frozen food, like frozen pizza, curly fries, mozzarella sticks, stuff like that. I was eating that almost every single day nothing wrong with that food i still have my frozen pizza so i'm not gonna shame it but if you do have that every day or multiple days a week then i would eat these pastas that come into these little packages and you just throw them into some water like with sauce and everything already ready all of this very high processed food i was eating mainly like that and i was always wondering why i had such stomach issues stomach pain switching to a healthier diet made a lot of changes for me also i noticed i do get more bloating when I eat very fatty foods very cheesy maybe like it has to be a lot of cheese like not just like a slice of cheese in a burger and salty stuff like when it's overly salted like a pizza or having a barbecue I feel like these are the worst foods for me I don't eat them every day of course but I like to have a pizza and I like to have a barbecue so I just accept it on the days where I eat stuff like that that I'm gonna be more bloated that my stomach is gonna look fuller it's just the way it is but I'm not gonna have that every single day then i wrote down some foods that can help bloating which is avocados banana celery turmeric how do you pronounce it turmeric tur turmeric I don't know. peppermint ginger asparagus fennel and tomatoes and i also wrote down eating less sodium because a high salt intake can lead to water retention in the gut and produce feelings of bloating this is what i said before about stuff that is highly highly salted i notice when i eat a pizza when we order a pizza i am so thirsty afterwards because they probably put i don't know how much salt into the dough so if you make sure that you're eating healthy and if you make sure that you're eating home cooked meals you will avoid the high salt because everything processed is naturally gonna have a lot more salt i mean if you salt your stuff to a ridiculous amount it's also gonna have a lot of salt so if you avoid the highly processed food you also avoid the high salt intake if you're not aware most processed foods do have a lot a lot of salt in them eating slower and eating smaller meals i wouldn't say that i eat fast but i have my phases of when i'm eating and then i'm done and then i'm like 
I feel like I didn't even enjoy it fully, especially when I'm having stuff like my pizza or burger. I feel like I'm more stuffing it instead of enjoying it. <laughs> so what I like to do is to really focus on the food or when I'm eating it and how it tastes. This is obviously not gonna be possible every time but i try to make sure that i do this even when i'm out with someone having a conversation even when i'm watching tv still making sure that i am enjoying my food i know a lot of people say don't watch tv when you're eating food because you won't enjoy it you won't taste it um you won't be focused on the food honestly i cannot eat without watching anything or talking with someone I love it like this is my favorite thing in the entire world I will never stop doing it also when I don't do it the only thing that happens is I'm gonna be distracted by my thoughts this is not something that's really what we want right if you're someone who eats very very fast maybe also try to slow down taste the food smell the food i love smelling my food before i eat it also eating smaller meals i personally don't feel good if i have a huge breakfast or a huge lunch on the days when i have a huge breakfast for example on the weekends then i maybe don't have a lunch because i had such a huge breakfast it's not my favorite thing in the world to do i do feel i have a better i do feel better if i eat more times a day sometimes i also like a little bit of a fast you know not eating anything in the morning then having just a lunch like a very big lunch it really depends on my day but you can try and eat smaller meals if this helps you reduce the bloating. I personally am not a big fan of very big lunches, I would say especially. So I like to have a lighter lunch and then eat a little bit more for dinner. Something I noticed over the years is when I didn't have food for a very long time and I was starving so much and then I was eating something finally. It's, this is when I got stomach pain. So if you notice this happening, maybe make sure to have have your smaller meals throughout your day or maybe also have a snack ready to grab so that you avoid even getting into that situation something that I also wrote down is other things that can cause bloating which I thought was very interesting is chewing gum I don't know if this can actually happen I don't chew a lot of gum drinking through a straw also not sure if that's correct because I drink pretty much everything with a straw so I'm not gonna stop that but I'm just, I'm just saying things that can cause bloating. Having beverages while eating. Something, something, something we need to talk about. Something that I realized recently that caused me a lot of bloating is I wasn't going to the toilet as often as I should be going to the toilet. <laughs> I noticed this especially when I started working and I couldn't go to the toilet every time I had to, you know? Let's say you need to go to the toilet, okay, in the morning and then you don't go because you don't have time or whatever. I used to get the worst bloating after that. I used to get such bad stomach pains because then I cannot go anymore. What I noticed is the more I go to the toilet, the better I feel. <laughs> You can do this either with a diet, having like a high fiber diet to help to have a better digestion. A friend of mine is actually vegan and she always swears on having a lot of beans and lentils and stuff like that. That her digestion is just... And probably because you're also having a lot of veggies and stuff like that. Drinking a lot of water. If you don't drink water, this can also cause your digestion to not be as good. There's also stuff that you can take if you feel like you cannot go to the toilet, but you have to. I recently tried one of it and it was, it was amazing. <laughs> it's life-changing. I don't want to take it every time, obviously. But if I feel like I really have to and I just cannot go and I'm already super bloated and stuff like that, I, I will take something like that okay i am i am done with suffering coffee coffee is also something where it's just it's just this magical cure in the morning when i'm having my coffee i usually can go to the toilet not every time but i usually can go to the toilet and something that can also cause bloating is a lack of sleep next thing exercise exercise is so important i realized also the biggest changes when i switched to a healthy diet and when i started going to the gym that my stomach pain and my bloating got so much better i cannot tell you how much better i feel since i've been eating a healthy diet and going to the gym but you obviously don't have to go to the gym if you don't want that you can also just go for a walk or whatever exercise you enjoy walking is amazing you can also try yoga poses i have no idea about yoga but you can google it i think there are specific poses that help you with your digestion <laughs> as we can notice a lot of these things are very basic which is a healthy diet exercise 
water, sleep, and notice things are so repetitive. But I feel like if you are on track with all of these things, you notice how your bloating gets better, your mental health gets better. Um, suddenly and suddenly everything's better with just very, very simple things. I am someone who refuses to believe that sometimes, especially when I'm not doing well mentally, but these things help. Another thing that I wrote down is what you can take probiotics if you want to take them, I don't know. Or you can also have them with natural food like yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, kombucha, miso and pickles. Just to mention it, maybe you also have a medical condition. So if you have very bad pain or I don't know, maybe go to a doctor just to rule things out or something that can also cause bloating is stress. I'm someone who is, I feel like always stressed. I am so, I'm such a stressed person and I wish I wasn't, but there are also ways to reduce stress that can be very simple. And the things that I mentioned before can also reduce stress, like having a better diet, exercising, going outside, getting in fresh air, going for a walk, having more sleep, having time in the evening to relax and do the things that you enjoy. I just want to remind you that everyone gets bloated and no one looks like on Instagram. I'm very bad with this because I get bloated and I eat food and then my stomach is not flat and then I go on Instagram and I see people in bikinis and with their flat stomach, obviously pose, probably not eating something and I always say, say this in a lot of my videos, social media can be very toxic in that perspective because no one has a flat stomach 24-7 okay we all get bloated our stomach grows especially if you eat food and also a pro tip for the end is if you ever go out and you want to wear a very tight dress and you feel like your stomach just doesn't support that decision. <laughs> I have this shapewear. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm gonna pop it on the screen. And this has changed my life. I wore this when I had my graduation party. And I also wore this when I had like this Christmas party for work, when I wore a very tight dress. This is such a game changer because if I do not wear it, I focus the entire day or the entire evening on sucking my stomach in. And then I get such bad stomach pain and then I cannot suck it in anymore. And then it's just horrible. It's ruined, okay? everything is ruined because I, I tried to make it look flat and then it didn't want to make it look flat anymore and so I just wear this underneath very tight dresses. Is it the most comfortable thing in the world? No. It Does it take a little bit longer to go to the toilet? Yes. <laughs> but it really helped me. If you ever want to wear something underneath very tight clothing, this is a huge game changer. I'm obviously not a doctor or a dietitian or anything. These are just some tips that I learned over the years dealing with a lot of of bloating doing some research i hope that this helps you if you're dealing with a lot of bloating please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos about fitness about food about working out and give the video a like if you enjoyed it and other than that thank you so much for watching and i hope to see my next video bye